Hi, Ken Blacksmith, and today we're going to be bolting down a safe. I'm going to give you guys a how-to. Um, this is just a super, you know, cheap, easy safe to, to try and bolt down. Uh, I always recommend that you always have four bolts. Uh, this safe originally only came with two holes right in the middle. That is not ideal because the safe can be rocked back and forth and those can be compromised. If you have four bolts, uh, it's going to provide you with some more leverage, so we'll go over that here in just a minute. Uh, we'll see if they gave us some mounting stuff in here or not. If they didn't, okay, so they gave us these mounting bolts here. I particularly don't like these. Um, I just don't find them very secure, especially in concrete. Uh, and they also give you some that you can, uh, they give you four because you can bolt it into the studs in your wall if you want to do that too. Um, these are the kind that I prefer. Basically, they just go into the concrete and then as you put your uh, nut on here and pull up, it actually pulls this pin up, drives this pin into here, and that spreads out. This seems to be the more secure system, whereas uh, these type, when they get uh, rocked and vibrated and pried on, it seems like they have a higher failure rate. So these are the ones we're going to try and do. Um, let's see here. Bring the camera over here. Silica stuff. And you'll be able to see right here that these are the two holes that I added uh, simply because I want to be able to put some, you know, I want to make sure this thing is bolted down. And if you don't have the option to uh, bolt it, to the wall, you definitely want to make sure. These are the only two it originally came with right here and here. So we added these two right here to make sure that this thing will be able to be rocked back and forth and have some leverage provided on it. Um, let's see here. Let's see if it says on here what size this is. This is going to be a 3 8 carbide bit, carbide for uh, masonry, uh, and this is going to be a quarter inch. I like to try and run the quarter inch down first. Uh, it's just easier, and then it's easier to, to bring out with this. Um, you want to make sure that it's going to be at least about that deep uh, to make sure that gets seated into the concrete well. And uh, you'll need a hammer drill. A hammer drill is going to have a hammer drill function. You'll be able to notice it right here, hammer and regular drill. Uh, the hammering action is going to make it easier to drill into the concrete. You could use a regular drill, uh, but it's going to take you a whole lot longer to do so. so. Uh, let's just see here. It's going to be a little narrow in there, so I'm going to take the handle bit off of here. Maybe I can't do that. We'll just see how it works out. So I'm basically just going to put that right in the center of the hole there and uh, turn the hammer drill function on. I'm going to drill this on the higher speed setting. And let me get this a couple dead and then I'll put the camera in here.
Okay, so we ran it all the way down. We know it's at least that deep right there, so that's going to be plenty for us. Uh, I like to go ahead and just put the bolts in as I go, just because it's a little bit easier, I find. wrench and socket and that down like so You can really feel when it grabs a hold uh, and how it, how it pulls that out of there. I mean, that is a secure bolt. Uh, it would pull the metal out, I think, before the, uh, it pulled the metal out of the bottom before I think it gave up out of the concrete. So we'll go ahead and do our other one here. This one, we'll go ahead and bring the camera in so we can see firsthand what we're doing.
you'll know when they get tight and they're not spinning in there because that can be the number one thing. You can see how this one didn't catch until much later than that one. Uh, sometimes it pulls, sometimes it's just pulling the whole thing up until it catches properly. Uh, if you have some issues with that uh, and you can't get it to seat right, you probably over drilled the hole, uh, which could be a major problem. You may have to relocate or move that safe over and try a different hole. That's going to be one of your problem solving tips. Or you can take this and uh, get like a screwdriver or something and, and try and bend this out and start it to get start to get it to spread in the hole and then try it again. Uh, those are going to be two problem solving techniques that you could use. And then I like to leave that nut on there just a little bit so as you pound it down, you don't mess up your threads. And there you have it. You have now got your safe completely bolted down. Uh, once again, make sure you have four points of contact instead of just one. And you can see how we can really move this thing around. But it's not, I mean, the, the steel would give out or the welds or the bottom's gonna blow out before those bolts come up. So for more information, check out the website below. Always make sure that you check the ground. Uh, in some areas they have in-floor radiant heating. You need to be sure that there's no pipes and there's no junk in the concrete before you drill. Uh, so definitely always make sure you do that first and for more information check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, 
You know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.